Hello. Do you know Hoya plants are succulents too? I have always liked Hoya bella, but I never tried. A year ago, a friend gave me a cutting of her Hoya bella. According to my friend's advice, I cut、uh, the stem into some small pieces, and then put them into a glass of water. It didn't take long for the cuttings to grow roots. Then I transplanted the cuttings into a pot. A few months later, I started to notice peduncles. I was very excited. I didn't know it grew so quickly and easily. But soon after that, the peduncles turned yellow and dropped off. Even some leaves were yellowing and falling off. Those are some examples. I didn't understand why it happened. I asked many people and searched the internet. Some people said Hoya Bella liked more water. Some people said you should water less. Some people also suggested that I fertilize the plant. I made many efforts, but nothing worked. But apparently, my Hoya was not completely unhappy. Eventually, some peduncles become bigger and start to give me flowers. Wow! But why and how? I need to know why. Apparently, the answer is from the plant itself. This is the front of my Hoya Bella. Normally, it sits on an east-facing window. It gets morning sun through the glass. Even though the branches are behind glass, they still cannot take the strong sunlight, and would turn yellow and die back. I think that is the clue. Now take a look at the flowers, and especially. The leaves on the branch where the flowers are produced, you can see. This is the back of the plant. The flowers are facing the camera because I twisted it, but this is the back of the flower. Only those ones which are at the back of the plant, and only the. Peduncles, which only get diffused light, are able to continue to grow and bloom. When the Hoya Bella got a lot of sunlight, they just turn yellow and、uh, fall off. This is the secret: the fallen peduncles and the leaves. Are a result of strong light. It seems that the Hoya Bella is more comfortable under diffused light. Hope my experience is helpful to you. Thanks for watching.